people get excited, they commit errors of emotion, and so if something has a U.S. economy has a 2% underlying trend line, they get excited, they make decisions to invest and to purchase and to produce and to hire, which causes it to grow more than two for a little while, but then it turns out that everybody made decisions that were too positive, and that has to be corrected, and so they, they stop investing and they stop producing and they stop hiring, and then you have a below average year excess and correction. So I think that when you think about cycles, Rather than think about ups and downs, I think it's much more helpful to think about excesses and corrections.